Hello and welcome to Social Wednesday with Evolutes. This is our 18th episode and today's guest is Brian Hamilton. Brian is System Engineer with Omnigo Software, President-Elect of the International Association for Healthcare Security and Safety, and was named the Canadian Securities Top 10 Under 40 for 2020. He's also part-time instructor at Fleming College and has also taught at Seneca College and Humber College. So thanks again for being here. Well, thanks for having me, Susanna. Of course. So Social Wednesday is a series where guests play a game of 12 questions and have less than 10 seconds to answer. But has not seen the questions before and this is not rehearsed. Are you ready? I think so. Brevity isn't necessarily my strong suit, so I will do my best to stay within 10 seconds. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So question one, what motivates you today? Today, I guess I would say my family. So I have a, a wife and four kids. And yeah, that's really my motivation behind everything that I do is just, you know, making sure I provide a good life for them. So I think I kept that to under 10 seconds, but yeah, that's my, that's my motivation today. Awesome. All right. Question two, what is your favorite quote? Uh, my favorite quote. So there's a, there's a lot of these, but I guess um, the, the one that I'll use is uh, one that I just kind of quoted recently is Tupac Shakur, where he says, I may not necessarily change the world, but I'm going to spark the mind of someone who will change the world. So I think it just talks about the impact that all of us have that we can potentially have on, you know, the, ne the next generation and how we can multiply our efforts by instilling those lessons in other people. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. I'm a because you post quotes almost on a daily basis, right? And I, I really like them. So keep it up. It's, it's great. It's really motivational. <laughs> will do. All right. Question three. If you were a brand, what would your motto be? If I was a brand, what would my <laughs> motto be? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I think you, you stumped me on this one. What would my motto, if I was a brand, what would my motto be? I don't know. That's a, that's a really broad question. So what, <laughs> it, so, so the, the Brian brand, what would be the motto of the Brian brand? Um, yeah, well, I, I would have to think of something catchy, but, um, but basically in essence, what, what I would want to capture in a brand is, uh, just enduring and, uh, and overcoming challenges. So I think that's what a lot of my life has been. So I think that's what my brand would be, but I would have to, I would have to find a catchy way to word that in like 10 words or less. All right. And that would be the I essence did catch of it. you on that one. I did catch you. <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> Question four. What feedback can you give me? What feedback can I give you? Uh, well, let's see. What, what kind of feedback are you looking for? About what? Professionally, specifically. Okay. Professionally. Well, you do have a, uh, you, you de you've developed a really outstanding network of, uh, of, of global security professionals. So I would say, obviously, that's definitely a great thing. Uh, you, you have a really good way of, of doing these conversations where you, you really have interesting conversations with people. And I always learn a lot from, I always learn a lot about the individuals you bring on because you ask them about things that aren't security related. So that's, that's really cool as well. So I don't know if that's the kind of feedback you were looking for, <laughs> that's but that's fine. Kind of yeah. I mean, like, I just asked you about your motto. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> question five, describe yourself in one word. Uh, I would say integrity. I, I would have said, uh, I was thinking humility, but that's not really humble to call yourself <laughs> humble. So, right, so. <laughs> okay. All right. Integrity. I like that. Six. I say work, work ethic or hard work, but that's also not one word. So we, really I mean, had like we, can, we can make like a hybrid. <laughs> a hybrid to go along with the motto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, the 10 word motto. <laughs> Six. Have you ever met a celebrity? Uh, yeah, I've met a few celebrities. I guess the first time I could say I met a celebrity was at basketball camp when I was 15 years old. I got to play one-on-one -on -one with Isaiah Thomas. And for those who are interested in basketball, he's an NBA Hall of Famer. He did beat me in that game of one-on-one. -on -one. The score was three to two. He's actually, <laughs> he's actually a lot smaller than, uh, than you would anticipate. So, you know, when I was 15 years old, I, was, I wasn't too much shorter than I am now. So I kind of bodied him and scored two points that way. But nice. when he had the ball, he's, he's a lot quicker than I am. <laughs> Seven. Who are three people you admire in the security industry? 
three people I admire in the security industry. Uh, I could give a lot more than three, but the three that I'll say offhand, uh, people that I, I just know personally, Todd Milne, uh, Brad Stewart, and Paul Greenwood at the risk of leaving out a number of other people who uh, have made a profound impact on my career. Question eight. If you won the lottery, what would you do? Um, let's see, what would I do? Well, the first thing I would do is, uh, is go pick up my, my, uh, my winnings. Um, <laughs> I would, uh, I would buy more property. That's kind of something I've been interested in that I'm working on right now is, uh, just purchasing some investment property. So I would just kind of expand that. I don't think I'm, I'm not one of these folks who would say I'd quit my job because I wouldn't, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of lottery winners end up broke really quickly. So I, I wouldn't change too much about my life. I would, I guess I would just be more comfortable. Question nine. How many languages do you speak? I speak one. Uno. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. I'm working on learning Spanish. That's been going, uh, that, that's been going so-so. Uh, I, I had to kind of put that aside with a lot of other projects that were, that were going on. But yeah, English is really the only one. You know, I, I did take French up until grade nine. And the minute I didn't have to, I, I stopped taking it. Oh, you're one of those. I am one of those, yes. It was, it was bringing down my overall grade point average, so I, I just dropped it. Do you regret it? No. No? <laughs> no. Usually okay. people do, right? It, it would be helpful, but at the end of the day, I, I, don't, know, I don't know how beneficial it would be for me. Uh, you know, I, 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 if, if I were to have any regrets about school, it was just not trying harder. High school was really easy, so I didn't necessarily apply myself the, the way I probably should have. Uh, outside of basketball season because my dad had very specific requirements on what my grades had to be if I wanted to play basketball. But yeah, otherwise I, I probably could have tried harder, but yeah, I, I don't know that. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't say that my biggest regret was uh, not continuing with French. What is your favorite color? Blue. Blue. <laughs> I know I was going to say you were. <laughs> <laughs> 11. If it wasn't security, what would you do? I would probably be either teaching or coaching. I think that's something that really energizes me, which is why I still, I still do teach. Uh, and I, I do coach when I have the opportunity with my kids sports. But again, just being able to build, it, build things into other people, share lessons, share learnings with others. That's another thing that really energizes and, and motivates me as well. Nice. Yeah, I'd probably do coaching too, because I think we were both professional athletes, right? Yeah. I would say I was far from professional, but I, but I did play sports. <laughs> yes so we both played sports or trained um and uh yeah you just you kind of always keep that passion in you. yeah absolutely and there's so many transferable skills that you learn from especially from team sports just working with others you know, cooperating leadership there's there's all those life lessons as well all right and we're already on the last question so what would you tell your younger self I would tell my younger self to be more patient. Uh, how, how much younger are we talking? Because the, 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 the advice is going to vary based on how, how okay. much younger. Let's say 10. 10. Oh, good Lord. Uh, I would say um, have a backup plan. The NBA probably isn't going to happen for you. The odds are really low. So, you know, just develop some of those other skills. Don't wait till you're an adult to work on those. Uh, you know, just learn to be good with money now it, it's going to benefit you down the road uh, that was something i didn't really focus on to my adult years either man i could go i could go on and on with this question how much do you want <laughs> but, well, but yeah. sure we're already past the 10 seconds <laughs> <laughs> but be patient be patient would be the biggest one uh, just know that the obstacles that you face in life there there is a they are finite there is going to be an end to them so just be patient endure and just you know keep doing what you know is right and, and work hard yeah, patience. I think I struggle with that too. Sometimes you just want things fast and for it to happen, but a lot of things take time. Yeah, well, you know what? Sometimes life will just do it to, with, to you. As you get older, you get a little bit slower and you have to learn to be more patient sometimes. It's just kind of, a, <laughs> it's just kind of something that's built in. <laughs> you don't have a choice in the matter. <laughs> I can't do the same things I could do when I was 27. So I've, I've learned that the hard way. So yeah, pa patience is something that's, uh, you know, they say patience is a virtue. It was one that I, I did not have a few years ago, but learned to develop it. Working on it. Yeah, that's good. So thank you so much for playing. What did you think of the game and questions? Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was fun. It was, uh, it was interesting. I, I wasn't expecting to uh, be asked for a motto. Uh, you know, I'm glad you didn't ask me like what my animal spirit or something like that was because I wouldn't have had an answer. 
Uh, at least not that one that I would have been able to keep to 10 seconds because I, I would have just been filling some dead air with a lot of words. <laughs> But yeah, no, that that was that was fun. I appreciate I appreciate that, and uh, you know, it, it's always fun watching these and, and learning, you know, a little bit more about the uh, the professionals in the in the security industry. Thank you, I appreciate that. So, before we do end the episode, I would like you to share with us about your two podcasts, so the Healthcare Security Cast and the the Disrupt the Everyday, um, and tell us how we can tune in as well. Yeah, absolutely. So the the healthcare security cast is the first podcast that I started. I started it back at the end of 2019. Uh, so right now we're over 110 episodes in. I think the last one I just released was 111. So really we focus on healthcare security topics, leadership topics, have a new guest on minimum every week. So the uh, easiest way if you're, you're probably watching this on LinkedIn is just to go check out the healthcare security cast page. If you check on my profile, there's uh, quick ways to get there. And then uh, the Disrupt the Everyday podcast is a podcast that my wife and I, Tanya, host. So we just interview guests from all walks of life, just talking about various life-related uh, topics. The idea with that one is we wanted to hit topics that are you know, both important to us and just important to daily life. So the, the end goal is that people will be able to come to our website or, or just do a quick topic search on our podcast and be able to find something that's talking about something that they're either wanting to learn more about, something that they may be struggling with. So... We've, we've had a range of guests. Uh, our first guest was Barbara Colorosso, who is a parenting expert who's been on Oprah, CNN, pretty much all of the, the you know, the three letter networks. But that's how that's how we kind of opened up. And we've had a, a very mixed, uh, mixed assortment of guests, uh, you know, since then. You've been really good at the podcast game. There's a lot that we can all learn from you. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Concludes episode 18 of Social Wednesday with Evolutes. Stay tuned for our next episode. And in the meantime, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask our next guest or even recommend a guest for the series, comment below. Thanks again for watching and see you in two weeks. Thank you.